I've done a bunch of videos showing how to use vision models with a llama, but I've always just done one question and then that's kind of it. And one of you asked how to ask multiple questions of an image. So that's what we're going to do today. The idea is that rather than having an image and a prompt and sending that to the model, we build up an array that contains a conversation and we'll send that conversation to the model each time. So we'll start with a user message that includes the image. And then the next message is our normal prompt or question. So, so far, this is the same as just doing the one shot prompt. We'll then send that conversation to the model. But then what we'll do extra is we'll add the model's reply into the conversation before we ask our next question. And so when it answers the next question, it's got the answer from the first question to use as part of its answering the, the second question. So let's have a look at how this works in code. So we'll launch IPython. We're going to import a llama and then we're going to define a function called ask question. It's going to take in a question and then messages and then we'll have an optional model. And we're going to append the question to that messages array. And then we're going to call alarma.chat, pass in the model, we'll tell it to stream, and then we'll pass in the messages as well. Now, if we were doing a single prompt, we can use alarma.generate, but for the conversational approach, we need alarma.chat. We're then going to create ourselves a variable called answer, which is going to collect the answer. We'll iterate through that chunk, get out the content, add it to the answer, and also print it to the screen. And then at the end, we're going to add in another value to the messages array, which is going to be the response from the assistant. Now let's have a look at an image. I'm going to use this display image function, which lets me view images in item. And you can see here, we've got an image from a previous video where we were showing how to re-rank documents in a retrieval augmented generation pipeline. Let's initialize messages and we're going to add the image in there. So it needs to be role user and then images. And then you can put in the path to the image, or you can do base 64 encoding of the image. And then we're going to ask a question. So what code is in this image and then pass in the messages. Now it seems to take about 10 seconds to respond, even if the model is already loaded in memory. So I'm going to speed it up, but just keep that in mind. And you can see the answer is pretty good, but there is a little bit of hallucination. And I'd say about half the time it gets the code absolutely spot on, but not this time. Let's ask a follow up question. So how would you install the package? So this is this information is not anywhere. And again, it's quite slow to get started. So we'll speed it up. But the answer is pretty good. So it's actually worked it out. We can then take a look at the messages array. You can see at the top, we have our image, followed by the first prompt. And then you can see the response that we received from the LLM just below that. And then after that, we've got our second prompt and the answer to that one. And if we had, a, had done a third prompt, that would then be after that. Now, if we want to confirm that the model isn't cheating by getting the answer from the image each time, let's remove the image from the messages variable. And now let's see if it knows what the library does. And of course it does. So it is using the information that it's got in its message history. So if you want to learn more about vision models in Alama, check out this video next.